Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel and if you're just stumbling across today's video, my name is Emma. In today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be showing you guys all of my designer pieces that I've purchased for myself over the past few years. As you guys know, obviously, I am a fashion blogger, so clearly fashion is one of my passions, and I do love collecting designer pieces. I do see the value in designer pieces, and it's really fun for me to kind of expand my collection and go shopping for pieces that I really, really do love and that I know I'm going to have forever. And just a quick disclaimer before getting into the video, I know I don't have to disclaim anything, but I do want to tell you guys that everything that I'm going to show in today's video is purchased by myself it's all mine that I purchased with my own money um, and obviously I don't have to disclaim that but I do want to let you guys know that always as a little girl I've always wanted to purchase my own designer pieces so if you were like me and you never got handed down any designer pieces and you never really got to afford designer pieces that's okay because you can work hard and you can get your own money to purchase your own designer pieces and like I said I do love collecting designer pieces and designer items so that is sometimes what I decide to splurge on when I see something I really do love so I personally absolutely love watching these videos I'm also very nosy so I like to see what people spend their money on but I find it so interesting to see what people People spend their money on and what people splurge on and what designer pieces people love that much to spend the money on but I didn't want to just rush into the video I didn't want to do it until I had a good amount of designer pieces that I could show to you guys um, and I didn't want to do it until I really was like comfortable with my collection and I think I had a good amount of stuff so it's worth a full video to show you guys so now that I feel pretty comfortable in my collection I feel like I have a good amount of things that I've kind of collected over the past like I said a few years um, I can kind of I guess show you guys what I've purchased and the items that I've splurged on um, because Obviously, you guys love the same stuff as me, so I think that it'd be really fun to show you guys what I spend my money on. So I guess we will get started on my collection. So, so far I have some shoes, some clothing, bags, and jewelry. So yeah, in my collection, I kind of just have a variety of different items and different pieces and different things. So I guess we will start with bags. So I guess I will show you guys my first ever designer piece. And in the intro, I know I said I purchased everything for myself, and that was a little bit of a lie because my first designer piece was a gift, And um, but the rest I swear I purchased myself it was gifted by my boyfriend Steven you guys know him technically my first ever designer purse was a gift but he honestly worked so hard for this purse I got it for my 21st birthday a few years back and he surprised me on Rodeo and he brought me to the Gucci store and I got to pick out my own purse so that was like such a cool moment I honestly cried because because like I said I've always growing up wanted a designer purse but I never could afford it so I finally got one for my birthday on my 21st birthday and it was such a special moment because yeah, he knew how much I wanted a designer purse. So um, I got to go into the Gucci store, like I said, and pick out my own purse. And this is the one I picked out. It is the classic Gucci little Deondis bag. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Let me know if I'm pronouncing it wrong. But it is so cute. And honestly, this bag just holds a lot of memories. And I'm super excited to kind of have this forever because it is such a memory attached to it. And it's kind of sentimental. And I'm really excited to hand it down to my daughter and show her that... This was my first designer purse and it'll be her first designer purse. So this will always be very special to me. Okay, and then the next purse I actually purchased for my mom, but me and my mom are super close. So obviously I take it back sometimes to wear it, but I did purchase this for my mom this past Christmas. She was super excited, super surprised, and I'm obsessed with it. It's super cute. It's like the perfect little going out bag. Obviously again, just like the other Gucci bag, it's very petite. So it only fits like your phone and your credit cards, but that's really all you need when you go out. So those are kind of like my two going out purses, I would say and like if I go out to like an event or whatever like these bags are perfect because it's all you really need to go out with so I think it's super cute obviously she obviously wears it a lot more than me because it was a gift to her but I did want to add it in the collection because I did purchase it and like I said I steal it back sometimes so technically it's mine too okay and then the next purse I purchased is this Chanel bag and I'm obsessed with it it is the classic nude Chanel bag and I actually purchased this second hand believe it or not it's in like perfect condition it's like mint perfect condition so when I saw I was like, okay, I need to purchase a Chanel purse. So this was actually my first Chanel purse. This is actually my first and only Chanel purse, to be honest. I haven't purchased another one since. So I actually got it for a pretty decent price um, since it is secondhand, but it is such beautiful condition that I actually got a pretty good deal on it. So I'm obsessed with it. It's such a classic bag. Again, I'm definitely going to hand this down to my daughter one day. And it is one of these purses that I can never get rid of because it's just such a classic. Um, and it'll forever be kind of like timeless in my wardrobe. So I'm super happy about this purchase. Since it 
it's such a beautiful classic I'll always wear it to like events and I'll always have it in somewhat of an outfit and it'll really go with any of my outfits um, so I'm really happy with this purchase like I said and I definitely want to collect more Chanel bags but I do have my eye on one Chanel bag that I'm hoping to get in the near future so I definitely will show you guys when I get that one but for now this is my only Chanel baby and I'm obsessed with it and I think it's so beautiful so yeah if you're definitely looking for like a classic beautiful timeless Chanel um, I really really like this guy okay and then the next bag out of my collection I want to show you guys is the Palm Springs Louis Vuitton backpack and you guys this is probably one of my most used designer pieces it is like the most practical backpack you'll ever own it is definitely a steep price for a backpack but I had my eye on this guy for a really long time and at the time when I purchased it it was literally sold out everywhere but I actually ended up finding this I was super excited about it I had someone looking for me like day and night for this bag and when she texted me saying she found it I was literally over the moon and I was like where can I pick it up when can I get it give take my money but yeah like I said it's one of my most used Use designer bags I'm obsessed with it I think backpacks are so trendy but also like honestly super timeless but yeah I'm super happy that I splurged on this backpack because I've worn it I literally wear it all the time so I really really love this backpack um, and I'm so glad that I have it part of my collection okay and then the last designer bag I wanted to show you guys is the Dior mini lady bag and I actually got this guy secondhand as well I do love shopping secondhand because I feel like vintage designer pieces are so beautiful and I honestly sometimes like them better than like the, the brand new ones in stores so I actually got this guy secondhand I think I went into a Dior store with this bag and like the sales associates were literally like dying over my bag because it is such a vintage piece um, it's literally I think like 20 or 25 years old which is crazy because it's literally such good quality and is such good shape so and honestly nothing about this bag looks 25 years old it is like in mint condition so I actually picked this guy up in Paris at one of my favorite vintage designer stores um, I'll have them linked down below I talk about them all the time but they're so great and when I found this I literally died and went to heaven so I'm so obsessed with my little lady bag and I'm really glad that I got to add this to my collection and again I'm totally gonna hand this down to my daughter one day and she's gonna be so excited I just I just know it okay so those are all of my bags out of my collection I'm honestly so happy with all of them I don't regret any of the purchases that I've made and I guess we will move on to shoes so the first pair of shoes I've ever purchased that were designer I actually purchased them in Paris which again was super special because it's the best place to purchase designer pieces because I think it's so magical to purchase in Paris um, and I actually got my first pair of Gucci slides in Paris and I remember I literally had strep throat when I bought these and nothing was gonna stop me from buying these my mom was like you're insane you literally have strep throat and you're in the Gucci store and I was like mom I'm getting these okay I'm fine so I ended up purchasing them and I'm so happy I did because I literally wear them as slippers now like these guys are like honestly I kind of destroyed them because I wear them so much but I'm not mad about it because that's what you're supposed to do with designer pieces you're supposed to wear them and I did spend a little bit of extra to get the fur because I just found that they were kind of unique and fun and I just felt like they were cuter on me I do love the loafers without the fur but I did really like the fur on me so I love these guys again I wear them all the time still they're definitely more of like a winter shoe because in the summertime your feet like literally fits in these and it's like not cute um, but I do still wear them at night at, in the summertime and also like throughout the fall and winter all the time so definitely get good use out of these okay and then the next pair of designer shoes that I purchased is you guys already know the Balenciaga triple S and let me tell you this story behind purchasing these shoes like the amount of effort I did to go through to find these shoes were insane um, there's like a whole story behind it but pretty much I had to express ship these shoes from Italy straight to New York Fashion Week because I needed them for my outfits and I ended up purchasing two pairs because I didn't know which one was gonna show up and I got scammed and honestly you guys it's a whole story but at the end of the day I got my pair shipped from straight from the Balenciaga store straight to New York and I was so happy about it these guys are like my everyday shoe they're like the perfect trainer and they're just like go with every outfit and they're super comfortable they're obviously Obviously very heavy um, and I feel like my legs have been more skinny queen because of these like, honestly walking in these you feel like you have weights on the bottom of your feet and it's kind of a workout but I'm kind of into it so they were very trendy when I purchased them but I feel like the trend is kind of fading out now but I'm not even mad about it because I still love them as like an everyday running shoe I'm like totally not mad that they're out of style because I still love them just as a training shoe I don't necessarily style them anymore as like a fashion outfit um, but I do love the shoe in general they're like my go-to so 
super happy about this purchase. Okay, and then the last designer shoe that I purchased in my collection um, are the Louis Vuitton Arc Lights, and these are actually more of a recent purchase. I ended up getting them, I think, in January. Um, and to be honest with you, I don't wear them as much as the Triple S, just because they're more of like a sporty kind of shoe that you need to definitely like style to make look good. Unlike the Triple S, where you can literally wear anything in your closet with it, like you could literally wear like biker shorts and a hoodie, or you could wear like a cute little summer dress, and the Triple S will still look super cute, but the Arc Lights definitely take a little bit more thought and you know styling to make look good but I do think they're really cool and I was really happy to get my hands on them I wore them a bunch in Europe and I feel like that's where these shoes thrive the most is in Europe because over there this is like so normal to wear but here in Vancouver it's just like people just stare at you and like think you're weird for wearing these I feel like so I don't know it definitely depends where you are in the world but, but at the end of the day I do really like this purchase and I don't regret getting them. That concludes the designer shoes out of my collection so I guess we'll move on to clothing. So the first clothing piece that I've purchased in my collection um, is the Balenciaga kind of like logo sweater. I'm not actually sure what the exact name is um, but when I saw this guy I fell in love with it. I originally purchased it to wear to New York Fashion Week last year. I had style it with like some fun heels and some fun sunglasses as one of my looks for one of the days I'll insert a photo here so you guys can see how I styled it um, but obviously I wasn't gonna purchase it for a one-time use I've styled it a bunch since I got it um, it's literally one of my go-to sweaters in the fall just because it's wool and it's super super warm so I honestly could wear this and like jeans and I don't even need a coat sometimes because it is such a warm sweater um, so I'm obviously not wearing it right now since it is super hot out and it's summertime but come fall I will definitely wear this a bunch again I ended up getting it a size up so it could be oversized and Steven definitely steals it a bunch too because it fits him since I got it in a big size so we between both of us we get a lot of wear out of this so yeah I don't regret this purchase at all and I'm so obsessed with it still to this day so yeah don't regret it okay so the next piece is actually a vintage Burberry bikini and look how cute this is you guys I'm literally obsessed if you guys have been following me on Instagram you saw that I wore it in Greece um, and I styled it with the matching headscarf. It actually is originally a little skirt to go with your um, bikini. It's a little like wrap skirt for like a cover up. But since like the headscarves and like the scarves are so trendy right now, I decided to style it as a headscarf in Greece. Um, so I'll insert the photos here of me styling it there. But it is such a unique, cool bikini. It's so retro. But since it is such a statement, I obviously don't wear it too often. But it is summertime right now, so hopefully I'll get some more use out of this before the fall comes because I think it's so cute and I'm like obsessed with it. So love this. So I guess as we're on the topic of scarves and head scarves, um, the next piece I wanted to show you guys is actually this Hermes scarf, <laughs> obviously a silk scarf. Um, I think it's so beautiful. I actually got it from the same vintage store in Paris I mentioned where I got my Dior bag. Um, I got it from the same vintage store, so it is secondhand, but it is in like mint, beautiful condition. Um, I'm obsessed with it. I think it's so cool and unique. I actually wore it um, recently on my Instagram on my road trip, so I'll insert the photos here of how I styled it. Um, but I think it's such a cool piece to have in your closet, and it's such a versatile piece. Like I said, you could totally wear it as a head scarf, you could wear it as a neck scarf, you could wear it as a top, you can wear it as a little wrap skirt. Like these scarves are such cool investments in your collections because I feel like there's so many different ways of wearing them. So, so I'm definitely on the lookout for new designer head scarves or scarves in general because you get so much use out of them for the money that like it's so worth it. So those were all the clothing pieces that I purchased out of my collection. I definitely don't splurge too much on clothing. I haven't yet anyways. Um, I honestly haven't found anything that I love that much to kind of splurge as a staple in my wardrobe. I'm not the type to kind of splurge on something super trendy so um, I haven't really found anything in the clothing department in the designer world just yet that I've added in my collection but I'm definitely on the lookout and you guys will definitely know if I purchase any more clothing because I'll obviously be posting on Instagram. So anyways, next up we have sunglasses. So I actually have two designer pairs of sunglasses. I actually purchased them both pretty recently. Um, I started getting into designer sunglasses for some reason. I don't know why I never really was interested in them before. Um, sunglasses are really hard to look good on my face. I have a face where not all sunglasses look good on it, I feel like. So when I find a pair of sunglasses that I really, really love, I'm more than happy to splurge on the designer item or the designer version of the sunglasses because, because I know if I find a pair of designer designer sunglasses that look good on me like I will wear them all the time because it's very rare that I look good in sunglasses so I found these first ones from actually Saks on fifth um, and they are these Prada sunglasses and I think they are so 
cute. I don't know what it is about them. They're freaking huge, but I think they're so fun and like so bougie and like so vintage. Like I see myself like wearing these and like a silk headscarf and like just looking so bougie. Um, so I'm obsessed with these. I just like fell in love when I saw them. I kind of feel like I have an alter ego when I wear these. So I did get them for quite a decent price since I got them off Saks, but they are a brand new Prada and I am obsessed with them. And I think they're just kind of like a classic timeless pair of sunglasses to always have in your collection. Okay, and then the next pair of sunglasses, you guys, are probably my favorite sunglasses ever. I think they're so extra and so fun. A lot of people don't like them, which is fair because they're definitely like an acquired taste, but they are the Dior Color Quakes. I think that's the style of them. They're in the square shape, and I got them in the gold, and you guys, I think they're so fun, so fresh, so cool. They're like so 70s, and they honestly just like bring out my alter ego, and I just thrive in these, I swear. And if you guys followed me on Instagram, you saw me wearing these all throughout Greece. I think it's just such a fun way to like spice up your outfit and make them like super 70s and like it just makes it such a vibe and I'm just like obsessed with them. So I actually ended up purchasing these guys online. Um, they are quite a steep price just like any designer piece but, but I knew I loved them because one of my friends had them, shout out to Christina, and I got to try hers on and I feel like that's the best way to see if you like a designer piece is that you can actually like wear them for a day and kind of like borrow them from a friend and see if you'll actually love them on yourself or love them for yourself um, so I ended up falling in love with hers as well and it kind of just sealed the deal and I went and I went online and purchased them for myself like literally that day so I'm so glad that I did because I wear them all the time and I don't regret this purchase like at all but yeah I'm obsessed with both of these sunglasses I think they're both pretty timeless styles and they're great for both seasons like you could definitely wear these both in the summertime but going into fall I think they're such a cool fall sunglass as well so love these okay and then the last category is jewelry obviously so my first pair of designer earrings are actually these baby little Chanel earrings I think they're the most beautiful timeless elegant earrings ever I can totally hand these down to my daughter one day and like honestly they're just like such a classic so I wear these all the time I actually got these secondhand which is amazing I love purchasing again secondhand so I don't exactly know where you can purchase these but I'll try to find them online so you guys can have the same pair but I actually got them from the same designer store that I told you guys about in Paris, the vintage one, um, the same place that I got the Hermes scarf and my Dior bag, and I'm just obsessed with them. So I think they're so beautiful, so timeless, so elegant, and I obviously wear them all the time. Okay, and then the last designer piece out of my collection are actually these Louis Vuitton hoops, and I'm sure you guys are well aware of these because I actually just recently purchased these at the Louis Vuitton store. I did not get these secondhand. I did purchase them for full price, which definitely they are a pretty penny, and I'm not gonna lie about that, but I saw them on Instagram and I actually thought they were vintage but then when I went into the store I saw them and they had one more pair left and I was like okay it's fate because I saw these all over Instagram and I thought that I couldn't get them because they were vintage so I was like okay there's one pair it's for me it's fate they definitely are a fashion jewelry they're super extra super big statement but honestly like you can see I do love big hoops I think they're super trendy right now but also super classic so I'm not mad about this purchase um, and I'm like in love with them so I think they're just such a beautiful piece to kind of add to any outfit that's super basic and this just kind of like spices it up with like a really fun statement so super super obsessed with this purchase and I'm really glad that I got my hands on them because it was just love at first sight you guys okay so I guess that concludes my collection of designer pieces again I have worked really hard for all of these pieces and I'm so proud that I've created this collection and I'm really excited to kind of grow my collection further and if you guys want to keep up with my future designer pieces I'll obviously post those on Instagram as well so if you're not following me there definitely click the link down below I'll have all my info there but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video let me know in the comments which piece was your favorite or which piece you would splurge on I'm super interested to know which piece is your favorite favorite so definitely comment down below and let me know but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys in the next one